Hey guys, Master Key's back with some Destiny, and it is the fourth week for Zur, the Agent of the Nine. I'm going to show you where he is and what he has. So here we are at spawn. Uh, this week, fairly simple. He's not really hidden. <laughs> He's just tucked away down here near the Vanguard guys. So you'll see a bunch of people swarming around him already. Because everybody's already found him, so... Let's go see what he is selling this week. Here he is, sir. This week, we have the Helm of Saint-14 for the Titan. So we'll have a look at this. No preview because I'm on my Warlock at the moment. We have increases melee attack speed, defense, increase super energy gain from killing minions of the darkness. Again, a good one for PvE, maybe not for PvP. Your Ward of Dawn blinds enemies who enter it, which would be very annoying in PvP. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, defense, defense, defense. And the next one we have is the a Cliophage Symbiote, which is for the Hunter. So we'll have a look at this one. Increases grenade throw distance, defense. Replenish super energy when you kill an enemy with a grenade. Okay, that's not too bad. Golden Gun gains one additional shot per use, which is terrifying. <laughs> uh, and of course, defense, defense, defense. And we have the Sunbreakers for the third time, I believe. Wow, okay. So we've got uh, increases the reload speed of all special weapons defense. Causing damage with a melee reduces your grenade cooldown. Increases the duration of your solar grenade defense, defense, defense. And this week, we go back to the Red Death again. I believe this was the first week's weapon. So Red Death, of course. This one is just kinetic damage, so it has no element. Uh, a couple of different scopes. Easier to aim under fire using this weapon. Attack power. Fast aim. High caliber rounds, so they can stagger enemies a little easier. Switch weapons faster, move faster. Uh, each kill heals you and speeds up reloads which is nice and then because it's an exotic you have four damage upgrades on the end there and the legendary uh legendary sorry the exotic <laughs> um helmet engram has returned so that will give you a um exotic helmet for one class it won't uh, necessarily be your class you are using it is randomized so you may use a titan and you may get a helmet for a warlock that's the the risk that you run uh, the telemetries this week, we have Scout Rifle, we have Sniper, and we have Rocket Launcher. So if you do have an exotic or legendary one of those that you're having trouble ranking up to get the unlocks for, uh, you can actually buy one of those and speed those upgrades. Uh, Emerald Coil, which is, of course, the Sparrow upgrade if you do have a rare Sparrow. And we have the Stealth Drive, which is uh, another one. It's just red. So the only difference between those two, one gives a green trail on your Sparrow, one gives a red trail. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to buy this green one right now. So I have 41 coins. I've been doing a bit of farming. Bang. So now I wanted to see how this works. Special video. <laughs> Extended. Extended video. Use. Okay, so now that turned my blue sparrow into an S31V legendary sparrow. Made it faster. Still white, which is cool. When I bought it, it was white. All right, what I'll do is I'll see whether I can... How can I do this? I usually do these videos and I don't cut them. <laughs> I'll, I won't cut it. I'll take it and I'll just give it a fly and give you a look at what the green trail looks like on this. People asking about strange coins and how to get them. Um, if you do the weekly heroic strike on the hardest difficulty, you get nine strange coins. If you have two characters, that's... 18 strange coins a week guaranteed uh, and you can also get them from blue engrams and things like that when you turn them in as well so let's just quickly go to earth and take this thing for a burn we finished the raid today as well in just about an hour that is a legendary ship i got from the raid so that's very cool i'm sure people will ask where that is so that's where it's from that ship you get from the raid and it is a legendary ship yeah i see someone tested uh one of these before but it was the red boost trail on the sparrow and it didn't look very good you couldn't really notice it and i noticed he was saying he's seen the green one and the green one was apparently much better so hopefully it's noticeable and hopefully this sparrow is a bit faster the blue one was much faster than the standard one and um hopefully the legendary one is faster again we'll find out 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's scout the area. See what we can find. Oh yeah, let's heaps. Wow, it is heaps faster too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so now we have the legendary sparrow, and you can see uh, the green does turn up quite well. We'll see if we can get it into a bit of an open plane. Oh yeah, the green is really noticeable. It's like a toxic plume of death coming out the back. It is heaps faster, I notice. You do the boost is much stronger too, so you can get up hills, fall off, <laughs> fall off. Get on. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Yeah, all right. We're back. Oh, that's cool. All right, so that is what the sparrow upgrade does. You'll need to either get lucky and find a blue rare sparrow before you can actually use one of the um, upgrades. But it does. It upgrades it to a legendary. It is much faster. There's a really nice jump here. I like. Let's see if I can hit it. <laughs> oh, terrible! Every time you try and do something on video, it never works. <laughs> all right, here we go. Last shot. Last shot. Really? Come on now. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, we didn't land it. Anyway, that's it. Zer, week four. That's what he sells. That's what the green sparrow upgrade looks like as well. That's what it looks like when it's upside down. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, we'll see you later.